I just want to get this off of my chest, aka Patterns. This is a personal message. It's on my chest. Gotta get it off to Donald, Donald Delay, Donald Delay, Donald, Donald Delay, Donald, Donald Delay. This dude, he's a digital artist. Uh, he works, he grinds. Great Twitter feed. Doesn't like pineapple on pizza. We're going to disagree on that. This is one of the things where, like, I love the internet. I love just knowing a guy like Donald Donnell's out there. He's reachable. He's he's accessible. He's he seems like a nice guy. Seems funny. And it's like, yeah, I'm aware of his existence, and in turn, he's aware of my existence. I love the internet. Just to, if you went back in time, pre-internet, for me, just to find a person that loves comic book production and the visual nature of creating a comic book meaning you know good stuff for the peepers for the eyeballs i would have to wait i would have to wait to run into this person somehow run into this person in the real world but because of the internet he's there and he's in my feed every single day and it just upsets me because he just had, with one of the books that he's attached to, had this epic fallout with Indiegogo. And, you know, some of it's, uh, like, like, some of it's there, so some of it's not there. Meaning, Indiegogo can really do what, whatever it wants. But a book that he's attached to that does very well, uh, it's called Cash Grab. <laughs> Such an amazing title, by the way. They're now struggling to find a new home for this book because they need a independent platform that is secure, that can deal with the trans uh, transactions, and there is like a, a level of security to those uh, interactions. Not easy to find, trust me. And then all this stuff happens in Florida. We get the hurricane, uh, multiple hurricanes. Uh, category two, three, four, five, and he's he's posting. He's posting yesterday that his power's out, this and that. And the reason why I get upset is because Donnell, Donald, he he should just be sit, like sitting down, drawing comics. Like, it, you can feel it in his feet. And I don't even know what this guy looks like. I don't even know, like, what his voice is. I, I'm not even sure if he's appeared on live streams or anything. To me, he's just this X, this Twitter account. But he is on Earth to draw comics, to make things visual, to make things pop, to make things interesting, to break ground. He's also a digital guy, and you guys know how I feel about a lot of the digital guys. Not that I hate them. I just feel they should be way more productive than what they are. I don't know if Donald's uh, guilty of that. And this dude just, he, he, he should just be drawing. And all, all this stuff's happening that takes him away from it. And on, on this channel, the AKA Pad Army, like we were into reading comics. We read comics, we look at comic book history, and we try and find those those, those little like points, those, those little pieces of nuance that, that show us a story the way it's intended, or spins a story the way it's intended. But we, we look for those crevices that you get from a regular practice. And I just want to say, I don't care. Like, this is one of those videos that might get five effing views. But my, my heart goes out to this guy. He's an amazing talent. Uh, he's He had a book called Brutus, which is essentially, I guess, like a like a 50s greaser version of Lobo. I don't know. Uh, I just seen images of it. Like, I haven't even, like, read the book. But I can tell just from... Like I said, like this guy's feed and, and the way he speaks and, and his, his art style and the things he pays attention to, that he's looking for that next thing, that next panel sequence, that next perfect image, that next way to explain something 
on the printed page. Those guys, guys like Danell, are dying. And they deserve every piece of our attention. They really do.